Hi everyone, I am SV and in today's video I will show you how to make this composition. Today I will show you how to use a cloner, how to use a loft tool. Uh, we will talk about plugin, name of this plugin Forester. We created trees, we create a grass. I will show you how to make a redshift textures, redshift volumetric lights and setup of redshift camera. So, if you are ready, let's start. I am in Cinema 4D and I will start my modeling from Streetlight. So, for reference, I will create a cube which will be 3 meters for 3 meters for 3 meters. Because my street light, I like to make only three meters high. So put somewhere, somewhere here, and start from normal circle. Make x z position and reduce. I don't know. Maybe maybe we will reduce up to 15, like this. Uh, what we have to do now? Take tools which name loft and put the circle inside. What we will do now, very simple, take circle, hold counter on your keyboard and drag up. As you can see, here is two circles and my loft tool will make already some, I don't know, some composition. Very good. Uh, hold counter, copy and reduce radius, maybe like this. Counter, little bit up, increase radius, maybe like this again up decrease radius and like this you can play i will go to this position uh, yep S decrease little bit less no maybe more okay very good you have like this And like this you can make every design what you like. Absolutely. Okay. Very nice. Looks like very beautiful. I don't know, we will pick up somewhere here and reduce my radius like this. Okay. So, finish. Finish with this. Look what we have looks like not so bad very nice and i will do just normal cube small cube i don't know maybe maybe 50 centimeters for 50 centimeters and 50 centimeters only uh, and i will add some additional segments like here pick up this cube up somewhere here and what we will do we will do some light uh, take this cube going to editable object take uh, edit by polygons go down select this polygon scale tool and reduce radius maybe like this very good take this polygon and also reduce radius maybe like this what we have looks like not so bad uh, now what we have to do we are take by selection tools going to points select this point and put like this up what I have I have 
looks like very interesting very nice what I have to do only maybe little bit pick up maybe make like this little bit straight then take again polygons right click and bevel put inside and play with subdivisions maybe just little bit and maybe some high and maybe reduce uh, sorry reduce radius so like this I don't know it's, it's enough very good uh, when it's done I will go to again polygons select all, all my four polygons from each side push right click and put uh, extrude inner like this but don't forget to take out these pressers groups we don't need it yeah oh sorry like this you see yeah three centimeters or you can sorry one more time yes like this I don't know I maybe will make three centimeters like this looks like very good uh, what we will do now right click extrude and put inside maybe also for approximately three centimeter maybe like this very good very nice uh, right click and make it split now you see cube number one make a split very good uh, and push delete on your keyboard what we have if we take this cube number two and drag somewhere here we have inside nothing and I have only mesh of my lights very good uh, for this mesh I will add redshift light area light put inside to this mesh we will call this mesh like a light like this and change settings of this uh, redshift area light first of all we are going to area and for shapes we will put a mesh and inside in mesh area I'll drag and drop my mesh like this uh, then I have to push visible and be directional so uh, going to uh, renders set up redshift going to redshift uh, first of all take out this enable for IPR reduce maybe two and two just for minimum going to bucket again set up 256 make a spiral and for a moment finish now if I will render it what I have I have some light very good some light is coming so now I no need this reference cube finish with reference cube uh, I will put to this objects okay maybe I will select all of them push alt J on my keyboard and call it uh, read light like this very good uh, very nice what I will do now I will apply cloner from MoGraph going to MoGraph and apply cloner put street light inside to the cloner like this very good uh, what we will do first of all mod will be grid array you see many many lights many lights coming uh, I will change sorry uh, horizontal I need only one two and two for a moment like this uh, for mode I will put per step per step it's mean uh, size I will set up between two cloners two different lights so I will make five meters and five meters between my lights very good so set up little bit up because I like to see my lights exactly on the on the line maybe like this and little bit like this very good so now I have the slides and I will increase I will make a like a street no, not this I will increase this I don't know maybe maybe six maybe seven maybe seven will be enough for a moment yes we will do like this for a moment okay what I will do now my lights is ready my lights ready so in present moment I no need cloner absolutely need only one light uh, now I will go with flowers area select rectangle 
like this. Put this rectangle in this area. This is, will be like our mask. Uh, mask will be two and five centimeters and one and five. Uh, yeah, one hundred fifty, two hundred fifty. This is will be area. Now I create a bricks, just just normal cube. I no need any some special settings for this. Ten, ten, twenty. Just for example, like a bricks. Uh, what I will do with this brick? Mograph cloner. Uh, put this brick inside to the cloner. Inside in the cloner options, I will change mode to the object. And in object place, I will put my rectangle. As you can see, all my bricks come into my rectangle spline. Rectangle spline. Uh, what I will do? I will go to transformation and change not this, maybe, yeah, maybe this for 45 degrees. I don't know, maybe you saw somewhere like this. Go to cloner, back to the object and make it, I don't know, even, yeah, even and start increase quantity. How many we will put until my bricks with touching. So what I have, I have looks like very interesting area for my flowers. Inside I will put plane. I don't need any segments. This plane I, I will use. No, maybe maybe it will be three zero and two three zero. Okay, this plane I will use for my flowers. So uh, when it's done, I will put it plane for flowers like this. Uh, I go to plugins to Forester plugin, and inside in the Forester plugin I have rocks. Trees, multi cloner, and multi flora. I already take all these uh, buttons and put inside in my toolbar. So I will create a multi flora like this. As you can see, I have something. Uh, going to multi flora, going to library, and inside I have many, many, many different interesting things. So I take long grass like this i have long grass uh, now i create a multi cloner and inside in the multi cloner i put my long grass like this what i have inside in the multi cloner options i will use distribute of ge on geometry and filtering so distribute on geometry inside in the ge uh, distribution geometry i will put my plane for flowers and as you can see inside on my plane coming many dots if i take out display points i have a grass looks like very nice i have some grass uh, it's too much this grass so i go inside distribution object and somewhere down try to find cloner count and reduce this cloner count, I don't know, maybe 20. No, 20, as you can see, is not too much. Maybe 30. Do not put too much, because if you have not so powerful computer, your computer will stack 50. So maybe, yeah, maybe 5-0. I will use maybe 5-0. And now I will play with my, uh, with my material. So if I use Redshift, I have to use Redshift materials. Uh, Redshift will understood material from standard Cinema 4D, but better for very good uh, rendering and very good animation, better to use Redshift material. So I create Redshift material and open it. Open like this. And also open standard material for this grass. What I have inside? I have only color. So I will make double click, not double click, left click to this area, double click here, and make a copy, Ctrl C, copy. Then going to Redshift material, create a texture node, and inside in texture node, put this path, like this. And connect this texture node to my diffuse color. What I have? I have material. Very, very, very good increase maybe 0.2 just give little bit glossiness and this is finish and what i have to do now take this material hold alt k on your keyboard drag 
and put inside here. And my redshift material override materials, standard material from uh, multi-cloner. Okay, function and remove unused material. Very good. What I have? Now I have a street light and now I have some flowers play. Maybe I will add some additional flowers. Maybe I will go to multi-floor again. I take maybe, maybe, maybe some flowers. Which flower I will use? Okay, maybe this. What I have? It's very small. Maybe this. Or maybe... Yeah, why not? Just, just, just to check a little bit. Or maybe I don't use nothing because I no need it. Yeah, maybe I don't use. Okay, if you like, if you like, you can put uh, additional um, object, but my tutorial not for this. Uh, very good. What I have to do now? Take this plane and multi cloner and also this and this everything. Yes, yeah, select both of all of them. Alt J and put uh, flowers like this. Very good. Uh, put this object inside to new cloner. Like this. What the settings we will use? Go to cloner. I will use line. Just standard line. Zero. And mm, first we activate our lights. Street lights. Uh, you see, yes, what we have. Looks like very nice. And activate, increase. Not this. Maybe increase this area okay like this maybe i will use also five meters no five meters no one uh, 100 centimeters between go to top view push somewhere here and increase up to four okay okay looks like looks like very 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 nice what i have almost park almost park uh, create a road standard plane i don't need any segments for this plane i just like to make it 400 maybe 450 like this and increase up to 200 no maybe 5000 yeah for 5000 4000 okay like this very nice very nice what i will do now we create a border or carb carb i think on english this is carb name of this carb 10 you know 10 and also 400 4500 like this put somewhere here go to this viewport Maybe I will make 15 centimeters just to make a little bit more. Okay. And put fillet for, I don't know, for one centimeters will be enough. And I no need any subdivision. Subdivision will be one. Just like this. So put here. And like this. I don't know. Copy. And put here. Very good. We are calling it carb. I think it's like this. Maybe I have mistake. Sorry for this. Maybe I have mistake. Carb. Carb and plane. Very good. What I have? Oh, look. Look what we have. Looks like, looks like very, very, very nice. Yeah, it's too much. Mm -hmm. Just reduce a little bit. Okay like this it's not necessary make very very accurate absolutely uh, very good uh, what we will do now we are going back to my plugin and forester take forester tree or from this area or from if you have like this doesn't matter you have a tree this is just like standard normal tree and now we will play with this tree 
going inside Forester 3 and you have many 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 settings. Don't afraid to these settings, you have to use just little bit for create some pictures. So we are going to tree library and inside you have many many trees. So you have to make a choice what tree you like. Uh, I don't know, for my tutorial I will use a maple like this. This will be for my tutorial. Maybe you will use some other trees. And as you can see, my trees is very, very huge, big. Because my street light is 3 meters and this tree is, is huge, big. So I go to tree parameter and inside I have tree size. I will start reduce, maybe in twice. Okay, like this. Just little bit bigger than my street light. I will put somewhere here to check what I have. Very good. I like that this uh, area touching to my street light and looks like very nice. I am going to top view and put this tree somewhere here. Like this. What I will do next. Hold contour on my keyboard, drag and drop here. Then drag and drop here, here. And we will do like a straight line. Uh, why I didn't use a cloner object for this? For example, standard cloner. Because I like to make these trees uh, not the same. So I'm going to first, for, for, for example, I'm going to this tree, going to tree seed and change it. And as you can see, my tree is coming different size. I'm going to change seed and all my trees will have different, different, I don't know, di different geometry, yeah, like this. So change it just to make randomize. Additionally, what I will do, I like to put some trees closer, some trees little bit far, again closer, like this. Some trees I will reduce, I don't know, 0.4 maybe these trees will be three will be also size 0.4 and i will make it little bit randomized as you can see all my trees have a different different geometry and looks like very natural so i collect these trees and going to these options render levels first of all viewport levels zero because i like to avoid any stack of my computer put zero because I no need it in viewport yes and render in present moment I will make also one uh, just to increase preparation of my animation so collect these trees drag and drop oh sorry other yes hold counter on my keyboard drag and drop in opposite side of my area Maybe I, I will use like this, you know, just for turn to make it little randomized. Just push a little bit here. Okay. Maybe, maybe closer. And you can play wherever you like. Maybe also a little bit closer. So what I have? I have very nice preparation. As you can see, I have a trees yeah this is very close and this is very far maybe i will put closer and this is just a little bit okay like this looks like very nice so uh go to ipr and render what i have okay i have only like this and i cannot see nothing why i cannot see nothing very simple because my area lights have a multiplier only one this is not enough. So I go into MH unit type and increase, uh, I mean change radiant power and make, I don't know, maybe 500 and 250. Okie doc. As you can see, I already have something. I have some grasses, lights, trees, and looks like very nice. Uh, and I will change a mode for color. I will change to temperature and I will make a night light reduce a temperature up to 3000 and i have very very beautiful yellow color orange yellow color very good so now we no need uh what we will do now what we will do now 
we are make a copy of these trees I don't know maybe only one side yeah only one side I will make a copy again drag drop go to top view and push somewhere here again copy maybe somewhere here change rotation okay very nice what I will do next select these trees alt copy push somewhere forward again copy maybe change a little bit rotation and finally what I have finally I have too much trees and this is looks like very very nice so now I will set up my camera as you can see yes like this area I have oh sorry I put somewhere here and set up camera in camera settings I will go to coordinates and I will make 150 because I like to make a camera from this lens then maybe just little bit down and maybe little bit turn like this so looks like very nice so I take this tree and put somewhere here take this tree put somewhere closer maybe some other tree somewhere here just to apply some trees in the area which will be more more interesting for me and some trees is small some trees is big and looks like very nice so for camera i will apply tag a protection tag like this to avoid any moving of camera like this so check and what i have i have like this looks like very nice uh, now i'm going to redshift settings redshift and to in basic i will create some environment I create an atmosphere as you can see here I have already atmosphere inside atmosphere I in present moment I didn't change nothing so I going to IPR start to play and what I will do now just a moment yeah first of all I will change it will be 576 like this I like to make white white screen very good so I going to light and inside in the volume options I will add just little bit 0 0.01 what I have look at this oh very very nice like a evening time and as you can see I have too much these areas so I going to my atmosphere and on the face I will maybe little bit increase or decrease now we will see yeah it's coming too much coming to clean or maybe I, I do not make nothing here we will see uh, yeah quality is not so good uh, because I use only 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 two samples only two samples I think I will reduce now just to receive more faster pictures and as you can see my computer start long time calculate and looks like very very interesting so uh, going to all trees yeah maybe we will do some primer render just to check what i have yes very nice very nice i like it nice object so what i create now uh, going to content browser i hope everybody have like this this is standard options for for uh, cinema 4d and in the presets you have visualize inside i take some few objects first of all it will be sitting and maybe branch i will use this branch like this park branch double click and i already have it in my project somewhere in my project uh, after that i going again to my 3d object to the humans and inside on the human medium resolution I will increase little bit you see I have some humans uh, maybe you are saw some my tutorials where is I use this women with this woman fem female if you didn't saw it just check all my previous tutorials it will be very interesting but today I will use this rendezvous rendezvous 
double click and close we no need any more what i have i have a pair very good and i have a park branch also very good and as you can see in present moment i have some materials which is not a redshift so first of all i will start uh, from redshift material for my tree i just make a copy of my grass double click go and inside and take i don't know trunk we yeah, start from trunk copy and put inside in redshift like this and maybe i just maybe a little bit increase up to eight yeah like this very good maybe maybe six point six just just give little bit reflection so uh go to other one go to leaves mm, just a moment i didn't i didn't apply this leaves copy and put inside to the texture in redshift like this very good so and like before take redshift material hold alt on your keyboard drag and drop Take redshift material, drag and drop. Very good. And remaining materials for my persons. So uh, first I will play with my branch. What I have? Wood, leg, like this. Yes, I will I will create just standard material. I do not make any copies. So I go in here, texture. I take some texture from wood. I have too much. I maybe, 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 maybe I will use I don't know, maybe this I will use. It's it's not so not so really important which which material you use because we have a, like a dark time, night time and it doesn't matter. So take it, drag and drop here. And now I will create a some metal material. So going to redshift, I will show you a very interesting way how to create a metal material. Now it will be here. Going to material and I no need color absolutely but i need a noise going to texture and apply a noise and this noise i will apply yeah i forget i forget to put just little bit roughness oh no no need this noise apply like a reflection roughness what i have i have like this as you can see coming very interesting texture so inside in the noise i will change a turbulence or maybe cell or maybe fractal you can check yeah maybe turbulence will be good and i will apply scale just reduce and will be like this so very good uh, i apply this material to my street lights to my here street lights so apply here render and check what i have yeah this is normal situation because some my pass is not working yeah you see uh, looks like very nice reflection and looks like metal i i like it i like it like i told you before yeah you see it's not working properly yes uh okay i apply this material to my leg i apply this material just copy to my trees and and that's all very good what i will do now take materials for my people and create one more materials of redshift what i have inside in materials of my people i have color i have reflection and i have normal like a bump map so going to color select here and as you can see this is inside in some plugin uh, inside in the redshift uh, sorry in the cinema 4d yes i have to take out this picture so i go to edit image and it automatically coming here you see like this just push save i don't know png file will be enough just very good quality and put somewhere on my desktop just just somewhere on my desktop finish then i'm going to reflection here i you can see some material yes i don't know maybe it will be in the mask yep in the mask i have it so edit mh i have like this save 100 percent and put somewhere on desktop very good and 
bump map edit image save we are make good quality you can save in any color i don't know png or something it's, it's absolutely doesn't matter absolutely doesn't matter and save on my desktop very good and now i create a texture we we don't need it anymore i create a texture in my redshift one two three very good in first texture i will apply a diffuse color from my desktop this is will be diffuse color open and we have it for this i will apply a reflection specular and for this i will apply normal and don't forget normal i mean bump it's not working without additional bump map node i will put here set up bump inside like texture input and set up here like a overall bump input very good then this i will apply like a diffuse color uh, come on okay it's taking a little bit time because the size of this texture very high very high resolution of this texture and it's taking a little time like diffuse color we will wait it's coming downloaded and this i will okay it's not working come on yeah now it's coming and this i will apply like a reflection i think it will be a reflection weight like this so and maybe we will change little bit my roughness maybe 0 0.5 only like this very good so take this redshift body texture and put here again make a render and check what we have check what we have yeah i already see my people i already see my people very good and i think i will leave this position of my people and i have some branch with very good reflection so uh, i take all my trees alt g i will call it trees take my branch and put this branch inside to the cloner like this what i will do now i will go to cloner i will go to transform and maybe change not this maybe this yeah for 90 degrees it will be line it will be like this okay very nice i will use 1000 and put somewhere here just increase and check maybe to this area so i like to put one just little bit closer yeah to border like this like this like this very good what i will do take this cloner hold counter copy and change rotation put it somewhere here yeah maybe a little bit up and increase in this cloner one more check mm -hmm. very good maybe a little bit down yes what i have have here here like this like jumping very good so going to this oh yeah you see i think i have to make it opposite side so going to cloner if you transform and change minus 90 just like this going to cloner and make it minus 90 okay very good very very simple uh, create texture for my border and for my bricks from these flowers just i i no need any special i just create a first of all i will do a noise apply this noise to the reflection way the reflection roughness increase this noise maybe like this going here okay very nice and i don't need any more color yeah maybe a little bit bright color maybe like maybe like this so uh apply this material to this area to this area and going to my to my my my, my flowers to my cloner cube and apply it to this cube yes as you remember this is bricks uh, 
So again check render again check what I have again it's taking a little bit time but we already almost finish yeah looks like very nice looks like very nice yes and don't forget I have at least now yes because it's taking long time for rendering uh, what I create now I create a grass to this area take a plane reduce a segments and increase the size going to top view and I need it too much I need it put somewhere like this and maybe like this I need it really really big and I need add some segments three this is will be like a grass make it at the table going to line take this line drag and put uh, yeah first of all what I have to do when you create a grass copy of this grass make it only one segments and put little bit down later I will show you for what I need it just just like this grass one is like a grass back back will be like this okay for this grass we are going to top view we have some created the table going to lines and put this closer to my border this take this line put closer to my border and center delete so I have my grass this is only one li uh, li one mesh but with two sides uh, I will use it like a mask like a mask for my multi cloner I going to multiflora create a shortcut grass like this Oh, you see coming to much object again create a multi cloner put this inside and inside multi cloner I will apply geometry like a grass like this and as you can see center I haven't nothing but only sides I have some grass uh, now I'm going to filter ink and inside in the filter ink camera link I will put my camera like this and apply here and apply here and as you can see I have a grass only inside in the area which my camera can see okay very good I hope you understood what I mean I am going to distribution object display point and I start to increase quantity I don't know maybe in 10 times like this anyway oh you see my computer start to stack anyway I can see some free area so uh, maybe 2000 okay anyway maybe 3000 yes maybe 4000 okay very nice and maybe one more time maybe will be 5000 okay yes looks like very very nice I'm going to this view and I have many many grass and as you can see some grass is touching to my border so to avoid this problem I take my grass area going to this object take this line and just little bit drag just little bit like this take this line from this side and also little bit drag like this very good so try to render ah uh, yeah maybe also I will go here and I will make display a point but during rendering I think I will have this grass uh, now we have to check because I am not sure this is if, if it's working with right shift with standard render mm, I not understood yeah I think I have some grass okay and now I try to render like this and we will change check it different see now my render taking some time how many 16 seconds I don't know I put like this yeah nothing change okay very good I have some grass and uh, what problem I can see as you can see my volumetric light also going somewhere very far and I don't don't like to make this area so bright uh, to avoid this problem I will make a fake uh, sorry not cube just yeah 
it's very very stuck i just create a, a gamecube what i'm doing plane change this plane to this rotation going plane and we call it like a back i no need any segments i need only size i don't know 5000 no here will be only 2000 will be enough and this is will be 5000 like this take it and put here like like this copy and put here like this okay for what i need it now i'm creating new material redshift material and oh, in this material i no need color i no need any reflection or refraction i no need absolutely nothing and i apply this material to my back one and back two and if i render again what i have just check it come on it's again taking some time i, I think i can delete it just to okay yeah you see what was before it was very bright and what i have now it's dark and looks like very very far uh before and now now is i think it's more interesting now very good uh okay almost completed remaining only few things first of all i take my pair put somewhere here just little bit far take my camera and focus object in focus object i put my people like this uh, i don't need this tag anymore going to camera create a tag red shift camera tag uh, inside in the uh, this tag i apply bokeh and i apply explosion and make vignette maybe 10 like this render again and check what i have oh, you see yes time all time increasing for rendering now it's 18 seconds yeah 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 very very nice uh i don't like this yeah what i don't like first of all i haven't material for my floor now we are fix this problem we are take this delete for multi grass of this multi grass i will apply a redshift material again like before as you remember i showing you take copy and set up here very good then hold alt on keyboard drag and drop very good i have all redshift materials no any other material very nice and 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 i will create some materials for my floor so what i need i have very interesting material now i show you if you need it also you can send me some comments maybe i will put inside uh, okay just a moment i have to check where is it yeah textures and i have like this very interesting material i just open it and here i open my bump bump map so bump map put here this is will be like diffuse color this is will be like a input overall bump input and in material i will use maybe 0 0.3 just little bit specular just just like this just little bit so apply this material to my floor make it i don't know like a cubic view render and check again and now we will see what we don't like what we will fix before final very final render oh you see it's it's very very glossiness very glossiness i don't like it really i don't like it how to fix okay uh we have two way or we will uh, increase a roadness i don't know maybe 0 0.7 we will check what we have uh, again render and check you see all time increasing because all time we add something and why i like use a redshift render because uh, yes i have like this but i also don't like it 
I also don't like it. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe I take this texture, copy of this texture, go to color correct, put inside this texture just to uh, take out full um, saturation and put the saturation inside in the reflection weights and maybe maybe that's all check again yeah uh, just a moment just a moment i forget i forget to reduce this area again maybe 0 0.3 like this okay check again what i have uh, this we no need it's not finished it okay now before i have like this yeah maybe if you will do your composition under the rain maybe some autumn time yes you can use like this away like a wet uh, like this i have some places which is have a reflection and now i have like this yes looks like very very na natural yes some areas some areas have a reflection some is not have reflection yeah but 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 i will change as you can see some stones haven't reflection and which what is inside has a reflection so how to change these objects i will take this color again go to color correction invert first put to invert and after put here again render and check check what the difference and finally we will found decision what will be for our final render so as I can see my tutorial already more than half hour and I think I will finish this tutorial in one video. Okay, check what I have. This was before, this now, before, now. And I think I will keep like this without invert. Yes, maybe it's not natu natural, but looks like more better. Okay, I no need color invert, just put directly maybe only little bit increase maybe 0 0.4 or 0 0.2 yeah like this again render and check what i have Twenty seconds we will wait and now i will show you how work my leaves on the tree yeah very nice uh, looks like very nice but again looks like very wet you see you all time have a jump and play with materials to find a good decision uh, good decision according to your preference with according to your experience maybe i can see like this you will, when you will create almost according to oh yeah we will keep like this so final this final for me as you can see i have bog here it's blue red and I cannot see background so uh, now I like to make a some render with leaves going inside to the leaves first of all save because sometimes happens problem and your computer can to stuck we are going to trees I select all my trees and I will increase a quantity of leaves first of all never never put eight only if you use one two maybe three trees in your uh, project you can put eight if you have like this i don't know like a small forest yes if you put eight your computer going to stuck this is for sure of course if you haven't very very powerful modern computer so uh for 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 beginning i will put only six and i will show you what the difference again render and now we have to wait I will increase my leaves in six times and coming preparation as you can see I don't know maybe maybe this render will take five minutes maybe ten minutes now I increase in speed and you will check okay very good as you can see I already have some leaves and what was before and what I have now looks like more better more interesting uh, what I will change I will increase a quantity of these leaves up to seven not more in other way my computer will stuck uh, I don't know I will save and maybe I will show you if I increase to the eight 
If it's stuck, I just to reload this video. Again, render and check. Uh, previous render 1 minute 18 seconds. So I, now I put to maximum quantity of leaves and we will see how many minutes will take this render. Yeah, okay, finally my computer stuck. Like I told you, yes, <laughs> never use a render for 8 because it's taking really too much time. Just reduce only 1 for 7 for final render, it will be good. Uh, okay, we are just lose little bit time. Anyway, uh, almost done. Now we are going to settings. I will increase uh, 64 and 64. And inside in the sampling override, I will increase samples for my volume, volume light. I don't know, maybe I will use 156, like this. Uh, okay, okay, almost done, almost done. Just finally like this. I go again to the camera create a grid just to see yes this is almost in the center i have some lights some volumetric and when everything done so uh, just save when everything done when you collect everything in your scene just push a render so uh finally i will show you these pictures yeah, I will make a render, finally I will show you what I have, but in present moment I'll finish my tutorial. So if you like it, just subscribe, put like, share to your friends, like usually I told you, yes, check my previous tutorials and send me some comments. Maybe you have some idea how to create new scene, if you have some question also send me comments. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.